It's the second week in a row that protesters rally in Raleigh, urging the governor to end his stay-at-home order. Protesters march past the governor's mansion with a message for him. Protesters were peaceful. There was not much social distancing, and few protesters wore masks. One of the few who did ripped his off during an interview. I absolutely do not see that we need to step out and allow government to take care of us because what happens when you do that and you give up your ability to protect yourself and take care of yourself, you are telling the government, I am no longer in control of my next decision. You are. Protesting doesn't violate the state's stay-at-home order as long as protesters keep six feet apart. Despite violating that social distancing order, there were no arrests reported today. Members of Reopen North Carolina say the economic toll of the shutdown outweighs the health risks posed by the pandemic. The governor's stay-at-home order is set to expire at the end of the month, but could be extended. Jessica Mullins, a member of Reopen North Carolina, shared the protest on Facebook Live, offering commentary to supporters who watched. I will tell you that as a Christian believer, our rights are definitely, definitely being trampled on. When a Facebook viewer raised concerns about the pandemic and the rush to reopen the state, Mullins responded this way. My heart goes out to those people and those families. By no means am I diminishing that. But I also want to say that there are millions and millions of other people who are out of work and cannot provide for their families. And we have to think about that side of it as well. The Raleigh newspaper reports a dozen healthcare workers were also at the protest today in support of the stay at home order and that protesters loudly jeered them, accusing them of spreading lies. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.